Ma'am, I don't have the time to wait in that line. That line is way too long. I realize that. I'm really sorry. Well, I mean, can, can you, like, come out and get it? I, I really don't have time to wait. Hey, guys, what's up? And welcome back to Film Trendings. In today's video, we're going to be looking at eight worst customers on Hardcore Pawn. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Watch Band at 42,000. In one of the episodes in Season 7, one of Les's longtime friends, who was a high-end watch dealer and collector, came into the pawn shop with the motive to buy a watch. Les chose to sell it to him on a reduced price of 42 grand. The customer had no cash at the time, and he promised to pay it the next day. Later on, he was not paid the 42 grand, but received a box full of old watch bands instead. Les tried to sell them at a reduced price of $2 each, but he had to suffer from a terrible loss. Oh, my dad made a horrible deal. He sold a high-end watch and got watch bands as paid. iPhone buyer tries to scam. Receipts are an important thing in the kind of business as it is the only proof of what a customer bought from the shop. One of the episodes, a customer came in and claimed that he had bought an iPhone from the shop with $2,000 and later he felt like he was scammed. He demanded a payback, but he didn't have any receipt. The fact is that used phones don't cost that much and Rich Pyle figured out that he was lying. I just got this phone that I bought here like two, three days ago and this don't work. Rich catches a thief. By the end of season five, Rich, a manager from the pawn store, was fired for some slip-ups and also because Les was really in a bad mood. They had some altercation in their friendship after that. But a few days later, Rich came back to apologize and ask for one last chance at the job. Les told him that if there's another slip-off, he would be fired again. This was a perfect opportunity to prove himself. Later, a man came into the shop with two microphones that he claimed was thrown in the audience during a show. Rich suspected there was something fishy about him, and he was proved right later on. The microphones were in fact stolen from a studio near the shop, and the thief was arrested. Rich got the job permanently after this heroic act. Just got out in the crowd and I picked him up. Really? Really? Customers openly insult Ashley. Once in one of the episodes, a customer came in the shop and was continuously calling for someone to attend to him, but no one came. Frustrated, the customer laid on a table that was meant to be sold and started making sexual moves while cussing out loud. Later, Ashley came to him and started using curse words on him as well. It all led to an argument, and this made Les very angry. He immediately came and challenged the scummy customer and started pushing him and taunting him, and he said to never disrespect his daughter again. Then he eventually pushed him off of the pawn shop and everything went back to normal. Les almost bought stolen art. Once in one of the episodes, Les was just about to sign a deal with a customer for about $1 million on some stolen art. This must have been the greatest scam to happen on the show. The customers were actually good friends with the owner and they tried to scam him, but their act was caught. Luckily, the deal was canceled. My pleasure. About my paintings. Okay. That Dina Jones and Anthony Erickson brought to you. Fake jewelry. Man, there are some people in this world. <laughs> in one of the episodes, a girl came into the shop and claimed that she wanted to return a piece of jewelry in exchange for cash that she previously bought from the store. Ashley told her that it was not possible as she did not have any receipt for the piece of jewelry, but she didn't back up. After some investigation, they discovered that the diamond earrings were fake and she was trying to scam them. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. Family Betrayal Ashley Gold, one of the members of the Gold family, left the business and started her own jewelry business in an online store. She said that she always wanted to leave the family business because she was not happy with it and she also said that she wanted to spend more time with her husband and children. This was not described as good by many and they addressed her as a scum. Emotional Manipulation it is definitely a good thing to help people and it's even encouraged on each side, but it is scummy when people fake to get some few extra bucks. In one of the episodes, a woman faked that she was pregnant. She walked through the door and came to Ashley and said that she was divorced and she was going through a lot and she had no job. She was convincing that Ashley gave her a rocking chair worth $20 for barely 5 bucks and she also offered her a job at the pawn shop. 
as she was trying to load the chair on her car, the fake pregnancy disguise fell down. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, my pleasure. Anything to help you and the baby. Woo! Thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos on our channel. So until then, goodbye.